looking at the two most popular visual tools to analyze the occurrence or co-occurrence of codes across multiple documents, the Code Matrix Browser and the Code Relations Browser. The Code Matrix Browser allows you to analyze the occurrence of codes across multiple documents. You can create the Code Matrix Browser for individual documents, document groups or sets, or for different participants of a focus group. You can also restrict it to coded segments with a specific weight score. Varying sums of coded segments are represented by a standardized set of squares in corresponding sizes. But if you want, you can also see the exact numbers. And switching to the heat map, the lower numbers will be highlighted with a blue color and the higher numbers with red, so you can differentiate them more quickly. An important advantage of the colored display options is not only the increased clarity, but also the fact that you can visualize the code frequencies with respect to different contexts. In the standard view we are looking at right now, the smallest number in the entire matrix has been assigned the smallest square and the largest number the largest square. But you can also calculate the square sizes only with reference to each individual column. Then you can quickly see which code has the highest frequency in a document. Or if we convert to row calculation, we see for each respective code. As you can see here, there are further ways to customize the output. For example, we can display the sum totals or binarized values for individual documents. By clicking on the square, the corresponding segments will appear in the retrieved segments window. You can also print out the entire table, including all the coded segments represented by these numbers, by simply clicking on the code matrix button or the export button. Let's turn now to the Code Relations Browser. It's similar to the Code Matrix Browser, except that it doesn't display the occurrence of codes in documents, but rather the co-occurrence of codes or code overlaps. Instead of just looking at code overlaps, we can also examine which codes occur near one another. Everything else basically works in the same way as in the Code Matrix Browser, so you can once again click on a square to return to the data in which these two codes overlap or occur near one another. One additional option is to right click on a square to activate the respective documents in which those coded segments appear, in which document it occurs the most. <laughs> 